So I'm going to show you how we've got Ag Open GPS and the SK21 rate controller running on this uh, Titan 4030 spreader truck as we're spreading a prilled fertilizer on our farm ground. So stay tuned. see the fertilizer coming out the back of the truck as he, as he spreads the fans on the back of the truck. Spread the fertilizer out. Right now it's set up to be a 60 foot spread width. And, uh, right now we're controlling the fan speed with the rate controller. And we're controlling the uh, application rate by controlling the belt speed in the bed that uh, controls how much fertilizer gets put onto the ground. These two fans that are driven by hydraulic motors, and they have a solenoid, uh, proportional solenoid valve that is pulse width modulated. And then up inside here, there's the belt. And you can see there's a gate opening there. That gate opening is adjustable. And we adjust the opening of the gate depending on what product we're applying and what the application rate is. So that belt is driven by these hydraulic motors and they're controlled with a motorized valve so uh, you give uh, your pulse width modulated signal to the motor to open and close the valve to adjust the rate of the belt. So here are the valves on the side. So this one is the motorized valve for controlling the belt. This one is the pulse width modulator proportional valve for controlling the paint. So this truck can hold approximately uh, 18,000 pounds completely full if it's a high density product or 16,000 pounds completely full if it's a lower density product like we're applying right now. So one of the things that we had to do in the rate controller was to put uh, density in there so that we can adjust the density depending on what the blend of the product is. So the rate is based on pounds per acre and uh, we adjust that rate uh, on the controller and uh, we adjust the density per blend. You can see up on top we have a uh, the GPS antenna up on top that is from Spark Fun Electronics, their L1, L2 antenna. That seems to be working pretty good. We also have uh, auto steer on this. And it came with auto steer. Um, so you can see right in, inside there. That with the auto steer functions and ag open. And uh, that's how we steer it. Jump up in the cab real quick. For not being there to, to try to convict him and lock him up, or is that just <laughs> turn the radio off? But down here we have the control box. Uh, we have a 
PoE Ethernet box. We're not using PoE in this application right now. So we've got uh, both the auto steer box and the rate controller plugged into that, along with the tablet. So down here you can see the rate controller in the transparent form, so it gives you a good visibility of ag open. And you can see we've got the pan. And then we've got our fertilizer rate over here with our bump buttons. So I'll ride along as we uh, as we apply here. We'll see how it works. So down here you can see the belt where it leads into the front of the hopper. It'll pull fertilizer as it uh, as it comes across there. It pulls fertilizer from the front of the bed to the back of the bed. So uh, as we get closer to empty. It'll be just a pile on the back. We'll try to get it. So we've got the fans running. So we've uh, got it on auto section control right now. And uh, we've got a switch there on the handle that turns the section control on and off. That's our machine switch. There's also a button on the switch for auto steer or on the handle for auto steer. It's kind of rough here. Let's go over these terraces. We're not steering right now obviously but the ring control is doing its thing. You see back here this belt's running. As you saw before Look out the window there and see the fertilizer going under the ground and things. So here we are, we're, we just had suction control come on and it uh, should go off as we go through our applied area here. Actually, we're going to do a turn around here. So auto U-turn, auto suction control as we do our back and forth here, so it won't do a U-turn up here on the top. Oh, yeah, well, because we are at the boundary. So we say hands-free. Since we have the valve, the steering wheel doesn't turn, it just turns the, turns the steering tires. We're getting back on the line here now. Section control on. You turn back on, so if we get it at the next boundary. Oh. So we do have issues sometimes when our curves come in and they're not at a right angle to the boundary. Sometimes the U turn doesn't work. So we'll see if this one works or not. It looks well, like it's going to do is straighten this out. Ah, okay. Got shaky here, guys. That's why you know it's real.